Hey everybody, this is uh, Hey Vern from the Lost Marble Forum demonstrating another script that I wrote a while back. I just finished adding some new features to it. Um, it's it's a walk cycle generator. Um, it originally was based on the character wizard and I modified it so that it can work with pretty much any character um, that has a in place walk cycle which is usually the easiest way to do a walk cycle you you create the character you animate it walking in place and then you can animate the layer afterwards to have it move across the screen um, however that part is a little time consuming and this can either do it all for you in one shot or it can at least get you about 90 percent there and you can tweak it um, but it, it gets it started it's based on the distance between each foot bone. So let me just load up, just for fun, I'll load up a new character here from the character wizard just to use it as a demonstration. Um, I have the side view loaded and what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this character over here so he can walk across the screen. <coughs> uh, what I'm going to do is, now you want to when you do this you want to make sure that you're working if you use the character wizard you want to make sure that you're working on the actual bone layer um, of you could you could use this one but then that would animate all the the, the, the uh, all the views of the character so you want to make sure you have this selected I'm selecting the side view to do the to do the motion with now I'm going to do a couple extra setup things um, one of the problems with the character wizard is the location of the foot bones themselves. Um, this will not lead to very good walk cycles because the foot bone is is well above the base of the foot and it's also the base of the foot bone itself is not located at the heel and the walk cycle script is based on the distance between this bone and that bone during the walk cycle. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add two extra bones and you can name them anything you want because you're going to type the names of these bones into the script and these bones are just they, they don't have to have points assigned or anything they're just for placement so um, I believe that's the right so that one says foot R so that's the right foot bone so I'm just gonna give it a name like right foot just so we have a name for it and then I'm going to do the same thing for this other bone here. Now what I want to do is hide this layer so I can actually see what I'm doing. And I'm going to add another bone here for this foot. And really it's just the base of the bone that's important. The, the length and the angle doesn't really make any difference whatsoever. And I'll call this one left foot. And you just want to remember the name of that bone for when you run the script. Alright, so we've got that set up, so that's that part's ready. Now the next step is we want to um, put in the actions for the walk cycle. Um, the character wizard comes with its own preset walk cycle. Uh, it's I I haven't tested this with references to walk cycles, but I think it would it would work. A reference to an action, insert reference. I generally like to use insert copy so I can see where the keyframes are, because you need to count the number of keyframes for this to work properly. Um, so here's the start point of this walk cycle, and as you can see, he's sort of stepping. He steps up and then out. So you want to find that that spot where he, He's, uh, he's stepping out. Um, I believe I created this script to work specifically with the character wizard. Um, so I believe that this will work from here because that's a crossing point. Yes, that is a crossing point. Okay, so this is, this is where the walk cycle will start. Um, so the first thing I want to do is uh, key the layer position right at that starting point. Um, this is sort of a lead-in to the walk cycle, and then it cycles from there. Um, and now what the script will do is add key uh, frames for movement of the layer. 
it doesn't do anything with the bones it just moves the layer um, which is it, which is a really good way to, to handle a walk cycle like this All right, so now the next step is we need to count the frames uh, between the the longest step now fortunately for the walk cycle this is really easy but your own walk cycles might not be so straightforward um, basically you, what you want to find out is you want to see how many frames between the um, the crossing distance and the extreme distance which is actually would be half the distance like from here this is the the extreme points the the left and the right foot are the farthest apart and if you went to the corresponding frame down here it's the opposite so we're gonna say that that that's uh, 12 frames and half of that would be six so our step our step length which is the value we need for the script is going to be six because that's how many frames from a crossing point to the final step down there are instructions in the script so that shouldn't be too bad for you to figure out but you can sort of see this is the value we want right here six frames from this halfway point to the, to the full contact point so six frames so we're gonna set that there and then we'll go to scripts and I'm gonna select the walk cycle script um, and there's several boxes to fill in and some choices to make and there's also instructions here um, that will pop up and describe how to do things uh, give you some information um, the frame step we've determined that which is six the length is how far how many frames he will travel across um, and so I'll just put in a random number it doesn't really matter I'll put in 200 frames now this is um, the name for the feet the script needs to know which bones we're using to measure the distance between and it does calculate the total distance including the leg bones so that's all taken into account so the left foot bone name is left foot and right foot the direction is which direction is he going so he's going from left to right so that would be this one it would be right left to right is the right direction if he was traveling from right to left it would be left um, that may be confusing or not I, I, this is what I chose to use so we're all set we're ready to go and we hit OK and now we've just keyed um, the layer motion that will correspond to the walk cycle and it's pretty accurate I mean it's not perfect um, the better walk cycle you have the more accurate it's going to be um, so you can see here he's walking pretty good um, now the, the the character wizard files also have a three-quarter view walk um, this script will work with that to some degree I have not added in any vertical motion um, currently it only uh, moves the layer in, in a linear direction from left to right or right to left so it does not take into account three-quarter view uh, travel um, so for example um, we can run the same script on the front three-quarter and get the uh, actions up here and I want to get uh, I'm going to select the front three-quarter view and I'm going to insert on starting at frame one I'm going to put in the walk cycle insert copy here and we keyframe the layer now the walk cycle for the three-quarter view is also on a flat plane you can see here that even though it's a three-quarter view this character should technically be walking forward and down uh, at a three-quarter view because he's coming towards the camera he would he should be walking down there should be a um, an offset on the landing of the feet um, however these walk cycles don't take that into account which is fine 
um, it, it, they still look fine and they're usable. Um, and this will work with the with the script. Um, once again, you have you do have to go in and, and add these extra bones for this walk cycle tool. You don't have to add these bones in. It just it it just helps. Um, um, you could just use the bones that are there. Um, I've just found that uh, adding in this extra bone is a very simple thing to do, and it it just it just makes it more accurate. Uh, so I'm going to put that in there, and I'm going to call that bone. Let's see what that one's called. That's a right foot. So I'll call that right foot just to be consistent. This one, and I'm going to hide this. Whoops, select the wrong layer. Three quarter, get rid of this. Uh, all right, so I'm adding in these extra bones. This layer, and that looks pretty close. And that one's the left bone, the left foot bone. I'll turn that foot back on, and there we go. So now we have uh, the two uh, extra bones to help us out. And in this case, because of the way these uh, actions were created the setup for this one would be exactly the same. It would be six frames um, for the walk cycle. So once again we'll run the script walk cycle same direction six same names for the bones so we don't have to change anything and hit OK and now the character travels across. Now, like I said before, um, I would like to update this um, script at some point to account for um, why travel of the of the bone, if if there was any in place. Now, in this case, this walk cycle does not have any um, why translation of the foot bones. Um, technically, it should. Um, but it's not a problem. And as you can see, walk cycle is pretty good. Um, this, you know, it's not perfect. And in a lot of characters, uh, the walk cycle might not be perfectly divided. Uh, unfortunately, with this type of uh, automation, um, we can I can only do perfectly divided uh, stepping based on that single walk cycle. Um, but it gets you close enough. If there are any spots in here that need to be tweaked, you could you could always just zoom in on a particular keyframe and shift it a little bit or nudge it, but it gets you pretty darn close and you have a really quick and easily done walk cycle for your characters. Anyway, um, that's that script. Um, I'm working on a bunch of them. I got piles of them I gotta get out there for you guys. Um, but that, that's this one here. And uh, Thanks for watching.